So how to use storytelling to attract your ideal prospects, right? So why is right. that important? You might ask yourself, right? Um, so storytelling is part of your brand, is part of your brand identity. Telling your story allows people to get to know you and determine whether or not they want to buy from you or be a part of your team, etc. It also just kind of, you know, allows you to just, you know, share your story so that people can relate to you, right? And you will attract some, you will repel some, and that's totally okay. So today, we're going to give you some tips on how to come up with your story, sort of like a, a skeleton of a version of your story that you can use on social media, et cetera. So we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the formula, <clears throat> excuse me. Brene has, has found a formula that she's been using and she will tell you where she got it from. And so, and then after that, we're gonna tell you how to, or we're gonna share with you how you can share your story, the best ways of doing that, et cetera. So Renee. Did I miss anything for our introduction? No, nope, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I have been using a, um, one of my favorite mentors is Diane Hawkman. And she has this formula for telling your story, which makes it very, very simple. You are a product, a business, anything. And I'm going to give you the basics of it and then kind of give you some examples. So... Before blank, I was blank. The first thing I noticed, blank. Since then, blank. And the best part is blank. So that's how Diane um, teaches most of her students how to tell a simple story because you don't want to be pitching anybody and you have to be building a relationship. So that's a very easy formula. And you could kind of use it for anything. We strongly suggest that you bring out your paper and your pen and write it down because Renee is going to break it down for you again. Write it down so that you can fill it out later. Please write it down. <laughs> so grab your pen and paper or pencil and paper and write, get ready to write it down. And of course, drop in the comments where you're watching, where you're watching us from. We'd love to say good morning to you. Before blank product, I was feeling fat. I wanted to get into a bikini for the summer. The first thing I noticed when I started taking this product from blank was I was feeling better I my clothes were starting to get loose and since starting to, since taking this product from blank um, I have lost uh, whatever five pounds one pound a week or whatever whatever your testimony is and you don't lie you tell your story and the best part is is I have my children using this product also and they feel great on it and they 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 don't eat as much crap as before because they feel so great. That's one example. You want to be able to tell your story. You don't necessarily have to mention a company, but as part as a vital part of what you're selling, as a vital part of what you're trying to share, you share your results and you share how it makes you feel so that you can attract people who either felt that way or want to feel the way that you feel at the moment. So sharing the before and after in that way is awesome because it's kind of like you're, you're, you're sharing like the holistic sort of view, right? So um, before I found this, I was feeling lethargic, like, like Renee was talking about, right? So a weight loss product or an energy product, I was feeling lethargic. I didn't want to spend time with my family. I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to go shopping because, you know, all I wanted to buy were, you know, necklaces and earrings instead of buying cute clothes. But then since I have found this product, right, I found that the best part is I have more energy. I've lost weight. I have a bikini body. I'm ready for summer, you know, and et cetera. So you have the, I used to feel like crap. I found this thing or I adopted this lifestyle and now I feel great. You want to share your story and you want to be authentic. See, nobody, you, you do know people are going to join you or buy your product just because of they have a relationship with you. You know, somebody I know that I've seen in the community pitched me something this morning. I've never had a conversation with this person. Um, I'm not even friends with her on Facebook. And she just basically sent me a link to her company and said, check this out. Like I, I, I looked at it and I'm like, yeah, no. you're, you're going to my block party. 
Like, you didn't even say hello to me. We have no relationship. Right. You think you know me because we may be in the same community, but we have no relationship at all. Like, you've not even said hello to me. You've never said good morning to me. So why do you think that right. because you're online, you think it's normal that you should just, you know, you walk up to somebody on the street and you say, hey, you don't know me, but I think you should take my, you should buy my product. How does that even make sense? I you? mean, I mean, guys, really, guys and girls, you know, um, it's the equivalent of going up to somebody and saying, you know, hey, you know what, I noticed that you're looking really old today, so buy my cream. I mean, that's the equivalent. <laughs> That's exactly it. Right? I mean, you're walking up to a stranger and going, hey, you know what? When are you due? Because, oh, you're not pregnant? Because you're awfully fat, so try my product, you know? Um, you know, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't really make sense in real life, so why would you do it online? I mean, people get so offended when their they friend requests me and I ask them what they do. It's like, answer the fucking question. Excuse my language, but answer it. You have to be able to answer the question of what do you do? Because I want to decide if I want to be connected to you or not. You know, just answer the question. If you don't know how to answer the question, Renee just gave you a formula to answer the question. Answer the question. Ask other people the question. But you know, you have to be able to share your story in a way that is not, that is not robotic and is in a way that is holistic, like we said before, right? So Diane's formula is a holistic formula. It takes you from the before the crap, you know, through the through the the actual whatever it is, and then to bliss, right? So if I ask you what you do, you know, say, you know, I'm, you know, I'm with XYZ company, or you may or may not say that I'm in a health and wellness business. You know, I've been in the business for five years. Before I found it, I was this XYZ. Now I'm, you know, so like answer the question. Don't be offended when somebody asks you what you do. I mean, most of us here are in some sort of network marketing online business. You can't be ashamed of what you do because if you, if you are ashamed, you're likely not successful. You're likely not going to make a lot of money because if you're, if you're, <clears throat> if you're perturbed by somebody saying, Hey, what do you do? Why are you asking me that? Well, why did you friendly press me then? Get off my page. Come on. It's so annoying because, you know, I did get a couple of those messages too this morning, Renee. I mean, you know, hey, you know, you want to be a part of my group? Well, hi. Good morning. Could you scroll back a couple of, uh, couple of messages to see where I said, hi, hey, how are you? And you never answered me, but you want me to be a part of your group? Why? So sharing your story allows allows people to be attracted or actually actually repelled too, but attracted to you. You attract the people who belong in your circle when you share your story. Be not afraid of sharing your story. You have to share your story as part of your brand. Renee, do you want to buy my shit? <laughs> no. <laughs> you said you said the F word twice. My virgin ears. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess it is a hot topic for me. I am so sorry, everybody. <laughs> but you also have to share your story authentically. And what I find, and I did this for, trust me, my first two years when I was online, because I had nobody telling me what a dumbass I was. I vomited all over people. I talked to every, I prospected everybody within three feet of me. Literally, people were running away from me in malls. My daughter said to me, please don't go up and talk to that person. And I go, but she's fat. And my daughter goes, but you don't need to tell her that. She probably already knows it. I said, but I'm going to help her. Like, literally, people were running away from me. So you have to be able to tell your story. Without she needs to be saved. I know. <laughs> right? But you have to be able to tell your story in a way that you're not vomiting on people. Like you, we all have these people that, that inbox us every day or try to get us on a, a somebody messaged me this week. And, you know, he, he started with the trying to get to know me. And I was just waiting because I could tell, I could tell you exactly what company he was with. I could tell you exactly what training he was with. And I was just waiting for the pitch and four sentences right. in, there was the pitch. 
And he said, have you heard of X, Y, Z? And I said, well, unless I live under, you know, a cabbage patch or I, I live under a rock, I think everybody's heard about X, Y, Z. He said, well, I'm selling this. And I, and I had gone and looked at his page and I said, no kidding, you're selling this. That's all I see on your wall. So yeah. he's, he, he doesn't care about what I'm doing or, you know, basically he just kept saying, how are you doing? I, I'm doing great. How's your business doing? I'm doing great. Cause I can see it coming. I can see it coming like so fast. And it just depends how fast they're going to get to it. And I just get to the point, say, what is it you want from me? Get to the point. I'm wasting my time here. I, right. Like I'm not even nice anymore because you want to be able to build a relationship, but you want to be able to, tell your story in probably less than a minute, less than a minute. You want to tell your story. Right. If you're vomiting your stuff all over somebody and they go to your wall and that's all they see on your wall, why do they want your crap on their wall? Why? They no. don't. I don't want I know, I don't. on my wall. I don't. No. So we are actually here to encourage you. <laughs> We're not, you know, we're not trying to be negative, but the thing is that, you know, I think Renee and I have been, and I'm sure a lot of you have too, you know, you've been around for a, a while and, you know, been on Facebook and social media for a while. So then we've been through, you know, we've been sort of like vomited on and actually we probably started out vomiting on others, you know, Definitely. but the thing is that not to do it. Do not do that. So we have solutions for you. One of the solutions is to kind of make yourself a, a template, you know, just, you know, write it down. What's the formula again, Renee? And the more you practice, so you guys can write it down. It gets and you refine it. So before blank, right? That's your product, the company, whatever it is you're, you have. Before blank, I was blank. The first thing I noticed after I started taking this product was since then was, and the best part is so story down, story down, story down, story up, story up. That's what it is. You're taking the product to feel better, uh, do something better. You know, you obviously looked for the product for a reason. You were looking for a solution. Right. right. That's what and so is. this applies really to any, any business that you're in, this applies, you know, this is basically your backbone, how you share your story, why you want to share your story about the products or system that you're using. So this is your backbone, right? So let's break this down a little bit. You know, you're, you're sharing your struggle at the beginning so that, you know, you can attract people with like struggles. You're sharing your positive outcome you know to give them hope right so when you use this formula think about why it is that you joined the company that you're with why it is that you started using the products that you're using you know it's because you were trying to solve a problem so put yourself in your prospects shoes what is it that you're trying to solve for them right so not everybody's going to want to use your products, but the ones that resonate with your story are the ones who are going to want to become a part of your group, a part of your tribe, and they're going to want to try your product. But you have to share your story in order to attract the ideal prospects to you. You have to share your story. You have to be comfortable sharing your story. Even if you don't have results yet, there's a reason why you join the company that you're with. So it's okay to say, you know, before I joined XYZ company, I was feeling lost and everything else. And then, you know, since I found the company, I feel, you know, like I'm a part of a community. I feel supported. I feel like I found the solutions to, you know, XYZ problems. And it's okay to share your story that way because somebody always can relate, but you have to share it in order for them to know that they can relate to you. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Say hi, Miss Eminem. Oh. <laughs> and right, so it's really important. And I, you know, we don't we don't want you to feel like you know this is a negative, you know, this is a negative thing or it's a super hard. It's super super easy. All it's going to take is probably about an hour. If you've never done this before, 
you know, it's probably going to take you about an hour, you know, go sit outside in the fresh air or go for a walk on the treadmill or just sit on your couch, just in the silence and just think, you know, why did I join this company? Why did I buy this product? What was I trying to solve? And share that part of your story because people need to hear it. It's not about, it works for me. It works for me. It works for me. It's the best product in the world. You need it. You need it. You need it. I don't care. Get out, get out of my inbox. That's my, that's my reaction when I get those kinds of, of messages. I don't care. I don't care because it's, what can it do for me? Because everybody wants to know what it can do for them. It's not about like until people figure out, it's not about them. Everybody joins a company. Everybody thinks it's the best company in the world. It's got the best compensation right. plan. It's got the best products, right? If you weren't, if you're still with this company and you're thinking my products are crap, the compensation plan is crap. Well, you're not going to be telling people that, but if you're just there to make money, that's going to come across very soon. You actually have to get right. into the mind of the person that needs your help. The mind of the person that is, that is hurting, that is looking for hope, belief in themselves, belief that your product will help them, will solve something for them. Like you have to give right. that person a hope and belief. And this is based on real results, not fake results, not results that are, that are pumped up or that are hyped up because you want to sell something. You've got to be real with people. You've got to share mm -hmm. real and you've got to have proof for the, of these results. You've got to have proof. Right. So um, let's just kind of pause there for a second. If this is all making sense, you know, drop us an emoji in the comments, right? So like the old face or the, oh my gosh, or the mind blown or the, or just a simple yes, a thumbs up, whatever. Just drop us an emoji in the, in the comments. Just let us know, right? <laughs> just let us know if this all makes sense. Because, you know, when you're, when you, when you've been doing things for a while, like Renee and I have, then we kind of tend to take some of the stuff for granted, but we really wanted to share this with you because it's such an important part of the journey. It's such a vital part of your brand that we want you to understand what it takes to share your story and we've provided to you the skeleton this this you know this sort of framework to build upon okay so if this makes sense to you all drop a comment or an emoji in the in the comments if it if it if you have any questions just, you know, you can reach out to us and just say, you know what, I, you know, this wasn't clear. Or how do I do it? Or what was that formula again? We'll probably put the formula in the, in the comments after the live broadcast. Okay. So let's talk about how to share your story. Okay. Cause there are obviously different ways of sharing the stories, but you know, sometimes we take those things for granted too. I talked about, about you know, a while ago, I talked about the elevator pitch, right? So this formula allows you to come up with your elevator pitch. The elevator pitch basically is kind of like, you know, how to tell your story between floors in an elevator. So if you, you know, if you see a lady or, or a guy and they're like, hey, you know, hi, how are you today? You know, what do you do? Like, do you work in this building? What do you do? You should be able to just kind of tell your story just like that without feeling like, oh God, is he going to buy from me? Is, he, is she going to buy from me? You know, does she look fat? Let me see. Uh, does she look old? Uh, does he have gray hair? You know? No, it's just basically sharing your story. You're piquing interest. And if this person has any questions, of course, they'll come back to you and, oh, wow, that's interesting. Tell me more, right? But you need to be able to tell your story, not vomit it all over the place, but, you know, just like, you know, I'm part of the, you know, X, Y, Z and, you know, so on and so forth. So you can share your story in person and by writing it down, right, and sort of memorizing it, you know, just kind of going through it and refining it and finessing it over days and weeks is going to help you to share your story in, in, in person. So if you're at a restaurant, you're with a group of friends, somebody asks you what you do, this is what you tell them. It's not a pitch fest. It's like, what are you up to? What do you do for a living? Right? Just like you would ask anybody else. So let's talk about how to share it on social media, Renee. I, I just want to say something. If you want to get really good at your small story, think of yourself, write it down, then think of yourself. You know, we, we, you've all heard of speed dating, right? 
have you ever been to a network marketing or internet marketing speed event? You literally have 30 seconds to sit in front of somebody and tell them who you are and what you do. So write your story down, then get on a Zoom with somebody or send it to B or I and just say, how does this sound to you, right? Because we, you've been looking at your own story for so long, but so let somebody else critique it. Let somebody else say, you know, you sound too pitchy or this is really good or maybe just make it a little shorter because remember, you want that. If you're on an elevator, you literally got a 30 second thing. Or if you meet somebody at an event or something and they ask you, who are you? What do you do? If you're going to bore crap out of them, in the first five seconds, they're probably going to be looking for the next person to talk to. So if you want to share your story on social media, probably the best way to do it is by video, right? You could do it on YouTube. You could do it on social media by video. If you're too scared to do a video, start out with audio. Do it as an audio on YouTube, right? You, you all can do an audio on your phone. You can put that on social media. Well, I mean, you can also post pictures of your lifestyle. You're basically sharing your story with people, right? So what is your story? Who are you? Where do you live? How many cats do you have? How many children do you have? All right. You're right. Me too. Um, you know, like, what, what is, why do you live where you live? You know, what's your, what's your situation? let people into your life. We're not telling you to open your bedroom door. We're just basically allow, asking you to invite people in, you know, just invite people in. Imagine you're having a barbecue, invite people in, you know, you have plenty of food, plenty of things to share, plenty of food and drink to share, plenty of music for people to listen to, invite them in. What do you show them, right? So you show them your lifestyle. And, you know, of course, the more you share about yourself, you know, if people can see you, on video, just like you're seeing Renee and me right now, you get to know us, right? So I'm kind of like, right? I'm kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm the nicer one of the two, but I also speak like a sailor. Renee is not so nice, but she's really cool. Oh, I'm going to block <laughs> you. Okay? You don't see comments from me anymore. It's because I blocked you. Okay? This will be the last episode of Saturday Chat with R&B. Okay? I love you. You know that. But basically what I'm trying to illustrate is that you get to see our personalities because we're interacting with each other, right? So the more you share about yourself on video, audio, your posts, your pictures, etc., you know, the more people get to know you. You know, I was attracted to Renee because I realized that she and I think a lot alike and we complement each other. I've said this before in that we're kind of like two knives sharpening each other. You know, when one of us is having a bad day or a rough day, you know, the other one picks us up right away and just encourages us to keep going. You need people like that in your life. But the thing is that I would have never known that Renee is such an incredible partner for me if we hadn't, if she hadn't shared her story and I hadn't shared mine. So I hope that that conveys to you the importance of sharing your story, sharing who you are, because the people who are meant to be attracted to you are going to become a part of your life and it's gonna be a solid relationship because you were truthful, you were vulnerable, you know, you were honest about who you are. It doesn't always have to be perfect. You know, I know everybody's life on Facebook is perfect. You know, everybody's like, you know, yeah, I'm making tons of money and blah, blah, blah. Right, exactly. It doesn't always have to be perfect. There are some bad days, some really great days, some normal, just sort of, you know, in the middle of days, you know, just share yourself, share your story, share your journey with others so that somebody, just like Renee and I found each other, somebody's going to find you and going to be, you know, just kind of like latched to you. They're going to be a part of your group, a part of your, you know, your team, you know, Renee and I are not on the same team. We're not, you know, but we're just incredible friends and we found each other thanks to the stories that we shared. So we hope that that helps you and encourages you to share. So when we go back to sharing on social media, just you know, share your life. It doesn't have to be a diary. Facebook is not your diary. People are there on Facebook to just kind of discover. You know, People love the drama, but they also want to be entertained and informed. So share a balance of things, right? You cook something and you burned it. Share it. 
People love that stuff, right? <laughs> Crap, I burned dinner. What do I do now, right? Or the next day you go for a walk and it's so beautiful out and it's like, wow, look at where I live. I'm so grateful. I encourage you to be grateful today. The next day it's like, oh, you know, I woke up and I stepped in my cat's poop. You know what I mean? It's like you, you kind of have to be real. Just be real and share yourself, share your story. And it's like, you know, one of your posts, the 80-20 rule, you know, don't forget that. But, you know, one of your posts can be about your results. Right? But your story, like, I feel also, great. If you're, sharing, if you're sharing pictures of your story, and I see this a lot, people are sharing pictures either their journey or somebody else's and all they do is post a picture there's no words no words all they do is one picture with a date another picture with a date so i'm like is that them uh is that them i'm not sure they didn't say this is me they didn't say this is somebody else right. so if if people aren't even possible to see that it's you how about writing one or two or three sentences with your post that's got your personality in it that's saying, you know, this is not me, but this is a friend of mine and look how fabulous she looks. And, you know, she started taking uh, this product, whatever. You don't even have to mention the product or the company, just right. the product that made her feel whatever. So show a bit of your personality when you're showing pictures. Um, that's part of your story. That's your story. That's your journey is the, you know, um, like be poaches, po poaches, po I poach a lot of, of sunsets and sunrises because she lives on a beach. She actually has no house, no, no, nothing else. She just actually lives in a, like a, uh, in a tent on a beach. So yeah. that's just what she my blanket. <laughs> <laughs> this is my office today. Yeah. Outside of life. So you want to share, you know, your product without being pitchy, your company without being pitchy. You want to share your life pretty much because people do, like we said, people love a reality show, good or bad. They love a reality show. Yes. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao.